Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the default GPS setting on your Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I'm using the solar version. It shouldn't matter whether you got the solar or non-solar, this video should work the same for everybody. I'll also mention, I'm gonna be showing it to you on the watch. The easiest way to do this is to do it on the Garmin Connect app on your cell phone and then simply sync the changes over to your watch. But you don't have to do that, you can do it on the watch as well. What are we talking about? When you go into an activity or you add an activity, to your listing, every activity will have what's called a default GPS setting. And then you can go in and you can adjust that setting per activity. So if you want your walk activity to not use GPS, but you want your fish activity, for example, to use ultra track GPS, you can change it per activity. What we're looking at here is what is the default setting per activity for GPS? And I'm gonna show you that. Let's start by pressing and holding the middle button on the left-hand side of the watch. We're going to hold that down and that'll take us basically to our settings menu. Now you could use either the up or down button. We need to go down to system. I'm going to recommend pressing the up button one time because system is the bottom of your list. So pressing up will take you to the bottom and that's what we need to get to. Once you're at system, we're going to press the GPS button to choose it. And then we're going to again use the up or down button and we are going to go to satellites. You'll notice that my satellites is set to all systems. If I press the GPS button, I can change this. This is your default setting for satellites. You've got a couple different options in here. Off would mean by default, your activities do not use GPS at all. GPS only would mean that they only use the US GPS satellites when you do an activity. You'll notice it says increased battery life. It's because it's not trying to connect to every satellite system out there. It's only using GPS. All systems is going to be your best performance. It can use any of the five satellite systems that this watch can connect to, but it's going to be your lowest in terms of battery performance. So if you're interested in uh, battery life, you wouldn't want to choose this one. But if you're interested in data and you're not worried about uh, battery life, this is going to be your best option. And then Ultra Track is going to be basically your worst GPS setting that still allows you to get GPS data. So if you're, you know, if you're worried about wanting to track GPS information, but you want to also get the best battery life, that's what Ultra Track is going to be uh, for. A lot of people will use this when they're doing an expedition mode or some activity that might take a couple of days, and they don't want it to burn through the battery. Choose whatever you want as your default value. In this example, I'm going to set the default to off and I'm going to press the GPS button to confirm it and I've successfully adjusted my default setting for satellites. Now again, I'm going to press the back button. That's just our default. Let's go ahead and let's press the menu button. I'm going to go down to activities and apps and I'm going to go down and I'm just going to choose the golf activity. When I go into golf settings, you'll notice I can go down, oops, golf's a bad example because I can't adjust my GPS settings for golf. So let me choose a different activity. Let's do hunt. I'm going to go into the hunt settings and you'll notice in here, when I go to satellites, it now shows use the default and my default is off. That's basically what it controls. Again, I can change it per activity to whatever I want to, but the default now per activity is what we just set on the first page that we looked at under system and GPS, or sorry, system and satellites. I hope it's not too confusing. It's basically just to give you a default value so that you don't have to go and keep changing everything every time you add it to your watch. If you know you want to use GPS only, set it as the default value. If you know you're not interested in GPS, set it as the default value and then just go adjust it per activity as you need to. As always, I hope the video makes sense and helps you out. Thanks for watching.